so hey everybody i know it's a different setup um for this video and i wanted i actually feel like for lockdown times and what have you i feel like this this would be the space where we can sit down we can have a chat we can talk about you know our feelings get into our feelings about um everything that's been going on with lockdown covid um quarantine blah 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 and one of the first things that i get a lot of comments on especially with my videos especially with uh, i feel like i always have to apologize about the sun coming in and out of the clouds when I'm recording, but it's one of those things. I feel like one of the comments that I've been getting a lot, and I'm gonna get into this video, as you can see, this is pretty much a weight gain during lockdown. Uh, we're gonna talk about the mental behind that, all of that stuff. And the reason why I want us to have this conversation is purely because I get a lot of comments on my vlogs, especially where I am, um, uh, uh, preparing food and preparing my breakfasts or my dinners and all of that um, I get comments saying you know thank you so much thank you so much for showing us what you eat in this time because you know it's inspiring me to eat healthier and all of that jazz and I mean thank you thank you uh, for tr entrusting me to give you some great tips on what you can eat during this time. But I can imagine that it is something that weighs heavily on people who are used to working out, to, to on people who are used to just eating healthily, but have to grapple with the fact that, oh my gosh, I've gained weight during this time. There is actually a biological reason as to why people gain weight during this time. Apart from the fact that you can't go anywhere. It's not like, uh, you know, you can go to the gym and work out. Um, it's not like you can um, take a jog on the street. Um, we can do that now in level four, but we couldn't do it in level five because of just, you know, how stringent the rules were at the time. But um, still, maybe you're not somebody who jogs. Maybe you can't jog physically because of um, joint ailments and things like that. And you just used to going to the gym and now you're worried about gaining weight during the lockdown period there is a biological reason to it the and the one thing it makes so to put it in layman's terms it makes so much sense um that there would be a biological reason to it you're not going anywhere so a lot of the time you're going to stress eat you're going to eat because you're so worried about what's going on in the world right now you're so worried about friends family members your job and when you do worry about that a lot of people tend to result in stress eating i'm one of those people who i just feel like ah, i've been sitting on this couch all day i feel like i want to have a snack you know and i feel like it's your decisions that are that play a very um, pertinent role, especially right now. It's your decisions that play the most important role right now in terms of choosing what you can eat. And um, it's, 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 it's a huge struggle and you're not alone in the struggle. I feel like we're, we're all together, especially if you're somebody who worries about your weight and you worry about what the kind of food that you put in your mouth and what have you. You can use this time to worry about it and overeat on chips and sweets and what what. Or you can use this time to actually create goals and create steps to introducing yourself to eating healthier, to introducing yourself to, um, you know, just eating the correct foods to try and, if not uh, lose the weight, but maintain the weight that you're at right now until such a time you can get back to the gym and get back to you know normal life normal life but for now until then this is going to be our normal life this is our normal life uh, very nice um so i weighed myself last week for the first time since lockdown so this was literally over a month I hadn't, um, I, I refused to step on the scale. I was very anxious about stepping on the scale because I thought there is no way in which I haven't gained weight. There is no way. I have been eating 
we'll get to the part of what I've been eating, but I have been eating, I'm snacking constantly, I'm doing this. I mean, I'm sitting watching Netflix. I work for a certain portion of the day, but a lot of the time I'm just sitting and I'm watching Netflix and I want to have a little bit of a snack, you know? So I, <laughs> I've been eating. So I've been really, before I stepped on that scale, I was very, very apprehensive, very, very anxious and worried that the number that I'm going to see on that scale is probably going to put me in the foulest mood. It's, I'm not going to be happy for the rest of the day, but you know what? I need to do it. I need to know where I stand. I stepped on that scale and it turned out that I'd actually lost 1.5 kilograms. So to me, I'm just like, you know, I sat there thinking about it and after some time it got to me that okay what i've been eating is pretty much on the healthy side i mean there's no junk food i have to prepare my own food um but even with the snacks so even with the binging that i've been doing it, it's literally binging on fruits i've been you know eating uh um uh packing on the protein so that i keep full and i keep satiated throughout the day and um you know, just eating the right kinds of snacks. In one of my vlogs, um, I actually show my snack drawer and what I have in there. I don't have any chips. I don't have any chocolates. I don't have anything. I've got snack bars, nuts, salami sticks, blah, blah, blah. I've got literally the healthier version of just snacking. Not only was I surprised that I had come down, but after sitting and thinking about it, I realized that I'm somebody who goes to the gym three to four times a week. So I haven't gone to the gym in well over, we're going on two months now. And um, I realized that I came down with the weight because of the muscle. Normally when you're at the gym, you build muscle, especially when you're working on weights and you're working on the machines and you're not just doing cardio a lot of the time. So with me, I built a lot of muscle and I can tell that even in my legs, the muscle definition is gone because I haven't been to the gym. Probably one of the major reasons why I dropped the weight. That essentially means that um, it's not about whether you go to the gym or not. I feel like a lot of people get worried about, oh my God, I haven't been going to the gym. What am I going to do? Blah, 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 blah. Weight gain, weight loss has nothing to do with the gym. It really, a lot of it, and they say 80% of it, I feel like literally is maybe 90, 90 something percent of it is your nutrition. It really is what you put into your body. It's very important to acknowledge what we put in our bodies, especially at the time we're in now, especially with us there the sun goes again especially with us people who are in the southern hemisphere because we are going into the colder months so what what you doing mr sun it's very imperative especially with what's going on right now with covid that your immune system is on 100 and for your immune system to be on 100 one thing that you can do to help your immune system is definitely eat the correct foods eat the right Food. So it doesn't help us in any way to be binging on the beige foods like the, 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 the chips and the sweets and the, and the pastas all the time and what have you. At some point you need to incorporate some greens uh, into your life, uh, into your uh, 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 plates every single day. You may have seen that in uh, a lot of my vlogs, if I'm not vlogging it, then I'm insta snapping it. I make smoothies every single day and the smoothies that I make a lot of the time, no, 100% of the time have a bunch of spinach in them. Sometimes it's just the spinach. Sometimes I'll add the spinach with berries, which are great antioxidants. And you know, it's just making the informed decision to pick the correct foods, making the informed decision to just uh, be more aware of what you are putting into your mouth. So you can easily start with, it's, it's a concern. It's definitely a concern to, you know, I don't want to gain weight. I don't want to, definitely a concern. However, it's something you have control over. So you can take this moment of what's happening in the world right now to have control over what you eat, therefore in turn resulting in having control over whether you gain or you lose the weight. That's, that's in, in a nutshell. 
um, but you're not alone in the sense that uh, if you have that concern about weight gain, I have that concern as well. As much as I may have lost weight now, but I need to try and by all means maintain the weight that I'm at or, or drop it even further, but I'm not intending on dropping it. So I need to at least try to maintain the weight that I'm at. And I know the only way I can do that is to just eat the correct foods. So you can start by one, you can start by controlling what you pick when you're at the grocery store. So it's an essential service, right? So we all go out, we all go and buy groceries and food, and you know, food, uh, uh, things to wash our bodies with and blah, blah, blah. Make the aware, informed, cognizant decision that when I'm at the store, I'm going to pick the correct foods to eat. I'm going to choose what's right to eat. I'm not just going to eat anything and everything. Um, and it just takes a small decision like walking past the pot potato chips aisle. Just walk past it. I mean, it's different if you have children in the house. Uh, it's different if you live with other people who eat that kind of stuff. Then you are going to have to exercise a lot more self-control. But if you are living in a house where uh, there's other people who really don't mind whether they eat chips or not and blah, blah, blah. Whether you, if you can control what you are the one controlling, what you are picking, and when you go home, people don't mind what they eat, then definitely make the aware, informed, cognizant decision that you're going to pick the correct food. So when you pick the correct foods, you make sure you pick a ton of vegetables. You make sure you pick a ton of, um, uh, fruits. These things have such great nutrients and powers that will help when it comes to maintaining or losing the weight. Um, if, yes, look, at, at some point, I understand the fact that in this time, you should be able to eat what you want and what you love because it's already a stressful enough time as it is. And I get that. I get making pancakes for breakfast. I don't get making pancakes for breakfast every day for seven days or what have you, but each to their own. I just feel like I'm here to encourage that you eat the correct things, especially if weight gain or weight loss is something that weighs heavily on your mind during this time. Um, the best way in which you can navigate and mitigate through all of that is to control what you put in your mouth. But not only to lose the weight, but to keep healthy. Because at this time, we need our immune systems to be very, very strong should we get into contact with um, the novel coronavirus. So, I, I don't know. I felt like we, we need to have these kinds of chats. I feel like um, it's very important that we have conversations like this. And... Um, those are my thoughts. That's what I'm sharing with you guys is that, look, you're not the only one in this situation. There are many other people that are in this situation that are worrying about, you know, what about what I eat and what about blah, 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 and what about gaining weight. You're not the only one. However, you're also very much in control of how, of what the outcome can be after this whole lockdown period. You're very much in control of what the outcome can be. So it's just a matter of each to their own, man. Take it as, you know, you may, but um, you're in control. You're in control. You're not the only one. Um, I will try by all means to keep putting up, um, you know, food ideas that are more on the healthier side. But listen, I even have days where I'm eating pasta and white pasta because I crave white pasta. I'm having days where I'm, they're not many because eating the right way has become sort of my lifestyle now, but I do have those days where I want a burger and I've, and I've put pictures of me making sliders up on my Instagram. I'll link all my social media profiles that you can follow down below. And I talk about things like that in Instagram snaps as well. But, um, for the most part, I feel like you are in control of it. You're in control of it. So, yeah, I'll be there to help if you need any questions ans answered with regards to the weight gain, weight loss. I am very keen on doing a Q&A about it. Um, 
and yeah i can do another video where we're chilling we're here we're chilling so i hope this video has helped um i'm gonna go and yeah it felt really good to film this because i don't know i i want to film helpful content i want to film content that you know we can all relate to and um i hope this did that until then i'll see you in the next one bye